Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. A special presentation of the NBA here on Veterans Day. It's Chris Bosh and the Miami Heat going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. I'll catch up with you at halftime. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Hall. I'm joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. The Heat log another stop on their travel schedule in today's matchup. It has not been an easy November for this team, dropping five games and with only one win here early in the season. Checking out Miami, they've got to be incredibly deflated by the way things have gone for them this season. Seems like everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong, Clark. Uh, for, for a team that, that had some high hopes, uh, it's been a major disappointment. So the opening lineup for the Heat presented by State Farm. Mario Chalmers in the electric D-Wade at the guards. Ray Allen and LeBron James, the forwards. And it's Bosch in at the center position. And for the Grizzlies, Randolph and Gasol are down low. Jared Bayless is out there with Tony Allen. And it's Prince in at the small forward position. Wade kicks to Bosch. Back to Wade. Heat moving the ball around. The pass to Bosch. To the inside. That's good from Wade on the assist by Bosch. Wade's got his first bucket of the night. You know, you look at Marc Gasol, a second-round pick in 2007. He was part of that Laker trade uh, for his brother Powell. Everybody looked at him as a throw-in, and suddenly he's developed into an all-star center. What a great story. Going back to Gasol, you, you wonder how he lasted to the 48th pick. Skilled seven-footers. He's actually 7-1. Seven Clark, don't come down the road that often. Well, you know what? He was overseas, so sometimes that can hide you a little bit. And make some people a little gun shy about drafting you there was concern about his conditioning the battle weight trouble early on so it's not about where you get drafted it's about how you produce when you get the opportunity and he's shown he's a big time player here's lebron after the made shot from zach randolph wade passes to bosh chalmers dwayne wade on the wing allen outside he kicks it to chalmers Six on the shot clock. Hits Bosch with the drive. Tries again. And LeBron with a nice bucket inside. Well, you're not going to get a more high-quality look than that. Terrific offensive rebound there. Let's now go to Doris Burke over across the way. He spoke with Lionel Hollins. And uh, Doris, take it away. There haven't been many players that have the physical prowess of LeBron James. And he knows that this is going to pose a lot of problems for his team. He told me the most amazing thing to him about LeBron was that he has the ability to be a force at virtually any position on the floor, from point guard to center. He can and does do it all, guys. And as always, Doris, thank you. Allen kicks to LeBron. And that one's good. LeBron's now got his second bucket of the night. You know, and I think it goes without saying, guys, but his strength and body control scoring in close, that's what makes him special. You can see it with the shooting percentages inside. I mean, he's a tremendous finisher. And I don't think we can afford to forget about something else he's known for. Stepping to the forefront at the end of close games and demanding that he be the one to take the big shot. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Ed Davis is checked in for Gasol. Arthur comes in for Zach Randolph. And Roten subbed in for Tony Allen. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for the Heat. Mattie comes in for Ray Allen. And Chalmers kicks to Wade. LeBron outside. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. LeBron's now got six points. That offense just keeps on clicking. It sure does, Clark. They're getting high percentage looks and really taking advantage here. And Bayless kicks to Prince over Battier. They grab their own miss. Here's Davis. Second chance shot. And no mistakes on the way. Davis has got his first bucket in this one. Kevin, great finish on the low block. I love it. Chalmers dishes to Wade. Tries to keep it alive. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. Some changes for Memphis. Pippen's checked in. And it's John Moore in for Jarrell Arthur. Then for the Heat, Chris Anderson has checked in for Haslam. 
Miller comes in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. And stolen by Roten. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And stolen by LeBron. Goes up. Trips down the breakaway slam. And some instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. Feeds the Bayless. Over Anderson. Bayless's shot is off. Here's Miller. The shot no good. And that does it for the first quarter. Heat out front, leading by six. On tap this And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. We've got Haslam. Allen out there with Chalmers. Then there's Lewis. And it's Battier in at the three spot. Davis with the bucket. Well, that's what he does. He's going to fight and battle on the offensive glass all night. I think the biggest thing with Miami is just the expectations. You know, ever since they held that press conference when LeBron said they were going to win, you know, not five, not six, not seven NBA championships, uh, they basically put a, a target on their backs. And now they have to live with those expectations year in and year out. It's not easy. Shot clock at three. Chalmers pass to Hazel. He takes it up and lays it in. Here is Bayless. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Houston. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Gasol kicks to Davis. Kicks it out to Prince. Lewis grabs the board. Well, Steve, going back to the year before last, when they lost to the Mavericks in the finals, it seemed to sort of shake them out of the honeymoon period, and they, and they took last season a bit more seriously, I thought. Yeah, there was definitely a sense of them being more on a mission last year. The focus and intensity was there from the start, and with that more focused approach, they were finally able to bring that coveted trophy home to South Beach. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Kevin, the Heat's Mario Chalmers grew up in a tight-knit family. They followed him during his playing career, from Alaska to Kansas and now to the sunny shores of Miami. His father is his manager, and growing up was his basketball coach and his trainer. They used to get into heated one-on-one -on -one matchups, and Chalmers said he finally beat his dad when he was about 12 years old saying, I changed inside that day. I knew I could beat him. And because of that, I knew I could beat anybody. I haven't had doubts since. Never. Not once. A confident young man, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. That confidence has certainly served him well. Bosch dishes to LeBron. He gathers. And a strong finish with two hands. He's so dangerous. Anytime he gets the ball in his hands and gets some momentum going towards the basket. So for the Heat, their last game, a loss to the Atlanta Hawks. You know, they weren't anywhere near their best in that game, but it was a really scrappy performance in the end. Somehow, they almost pulled it off, Clark. Yeah, they showed a lot of guts there, Steve. A lot of fortitude, tenacity, perseverance. Um, even as shaky as they were, they probably felt they should have come out on top. And it's Cole missing. That was a layup. And you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Darrell Arthur trying to make his way back from that Achilles tendon injury last season. And, you know, before that injury, he'd really solidified his place as an important part of the Grizzlies' rotation. They are really happy to have him back. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Randolph. John Luer comes in for Darrell Arthur. Tayshawn Prince has checked in for Austin Day. And Tony Allen subbed in for Roten. And a new group in for the Heat. Joel Anthony's checked in for Bob. Anderson comes in for LeBron. Shane Battier is checked in for Mike Miller. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Pippen's checked in. And Ed Davis is subbed in for John Lua. And then for Miami, Haslam comes in for Chris Anderson. And it's Allen in for Shane Battier. And the basket by Pippen. And going back to Arthur, guys, I mean, 
He missed the entire season with that Achilles tendon tear, and those actually can be career-ending, but certainly changing injuries. I mean, we'll see how he comes back from it. Here's Haslam following the score by Memphis. Back to Wade, over Allen, and again, it's the Heat missing. Well, he had a defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like that. Here is Bayless. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Good. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half of the game. Pass to Chalmers. Let's it go from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Chalmers has got six points. No luck. And so that brings the first half to a close. Heat lead by 10. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching. Now, presented by Sprint. Today's a day to honor our nation's heroes. It's Veterans Day, and this is... The Nets out in Brooklyn... The second half just about to get going here an excellent game we've seen from lebron he has eight points and a steal he was a man on a mission in the first half he let it all hang out you know i'm interested to see how much he's got left in the tank for the second half well for a long time the grizzlies had been looking for something to build on but with the core group of players that they have now i think they have a really bright future this is a team that defends they play well together, and they've got really good interior passing as well. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Randolph and Gasol are down low. Jared Bayless is out there with Tony Allen, and it's Prince in at the three. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin, the Dwayne Wade-LeBron James tandem in Miami, already one of the best in NBA history, and they push each other to get better every day. As Dwayne Wade said, we compete after practice. Obviously, it's not about keeping score, but after a lot of practices, we'll do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work because we understand that competition between us will make both of us better. Kevin, scary for their competitors. I believe it. Those must make for some good battles, Doris. Thanks. Inside, tipped, stolen by Allen. Bayless the pass to Prince. Randolph a screen on Chalmers. Jumper off the screen, and that's Prince. That time on the assist by Bayless. Prince has got his first points of the night. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. A nice step forward statistically for combo guard Jared Bayless last season. He dramatically improved his three-point shooting percentage, cut down his turnovers, and increased his scoring by over a point a game. That's a nice step forward for him. Back to Allen. The dish to Gasol. Working on Bosch. The jump hook. The shot. No good. Nice D from Bosch. The Heat leading by six. And while Bayless played better last season, injuries did uh, skew the tail some of that success. Yeah, he played less than half the season. And, you know, as a slasher, injuries can be more frequent. Bayless really likes to attack the rim. Loves going right. A very strong athletic player. So, you know, we'll see if he can bank on the better shooting percentages while leaving some of those injury problems in the rearview mirror. The Heat making a switch here. Battier's checked in. And Bayless kicks to Prince. The feed to Randolph. He dishes it to Bayless. Six to shoot. Tries yet again. And Randolph with the layup. Randolph's got four points in the quarter. Well, he brings a lot to the table, Kevin, that's for sure. And what I look to really is his pursuit of the ball. I mean, he gets you so many second chance opportunities because he anticipates so well, and he plays with a kind of a fearless aggressiveness. And you know, Steve, he's as level-headed a player as there is. If there's ever been an occasion when he's gotten flustered, I can't recall it. I've not seen it. 
You know, Kevin, it's been 11 years now. It's hard to believe since the Grizzlies moved from Vancouver down to Memphis. And they've had a lot more success in the playoffs as the franchise has settled in and made Memphis its home. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Now, here's Chalmers. He's got six. And it's Bosch, that time on the assist by Chalmers. And the Heat lead by eight. Back to what you said, consecutive years for them in the playoffs, and they have shown that they'll be a presence for a while. Yes. Steve, well-coached and, uh, and a deep roster. Yeah, and big on the front line with Zach Randolph and Marcus Saul. They're a tough team. They rebound. They pound you on the offensive glass. Looks to me like they're poised to be a strong team for years to come. The drive by LeBron. That's good. LeBron's now got six in the quarter. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Here's Bayless. Rebound by the Heat. They've led by as many as 11 points. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Grizzlies. And they're up against one of the few teams that really took it to them last year. They'll, they'll be excited because they got swept in the season series a year ago. No good with the elbow jumper. Very porous defense down there by the Hoop. He probably should make that one. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth. The new season. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our strike, uncontainable game report. Doris? Hey, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Heat that garners the uncontainable game today. They haven't eased off the gas once and continue to build on their lead. Just too much offense to deal with as they head to the final stretch. Doris, thanks. And I think we can all agree the whole flow to their game sort of gelled at that point. Don't you think, Steve? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kevin, everything came together for them all at once. I mean, their shots started dropping one after another at, at one end. And then at the other end, they went into lockdown mode defensively. Yeah, it was truly a good stretch for them, Steve. All they needed were a few things to kind of click into place. And then they were rolling on all cylinders. So with Bosch on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Ray Allen and LeBron James, the focus. Norris Cole and Dwayne Wade combine a guard. And it's Anderson in at the five spot. Here's Arthur. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a moment to check out Miami, who they've got coming up. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. And that will be the third of this six-game road trip. The free throw drops for Arthur. Two teams with a lot of pride, manhandling the majority of teams in their conferences. And you know what, Kevin? It's only two games. That's all you've got to turn the tables the next season. You better make the most of that opportunity. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Zach Randolph's checked in for Davis. Prince comes in for Austin Day. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Rope. LeBron drives in, spins to the middle, count the bucket. And the Heat lead by eight. Offensively, just hammering away in the paint. And that's 10 straight points inside, too. And Bayless kicks to Prince. They get it again. Allen dishes to Randolph. And it's blocked by Bosch. One on one, fast break. Throws up the alley oop. Chalmers. He's guarded by Arthur. Allen for three. Good. Big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. The Grizzlies have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. And their shooting percentage from that game tells the story. They got hot and they stayed hot. I know, it was something to watch, wasn't it? I mean, I kept waiting for those guys to cool off, and it just never happened. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Lionel Hollins gave to his team during that last break. He was emphatic. We're not getting it done, fellas. We've simply got to step up, get engaged, and try to battle back. Guys, we'll see if the pep talk gets him going. Wade gets to Jones. Latrey. Allen with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by 11. It's Prince on the wing, defended by Allen. Allen passes to Randall. 
Back to Allen. Over Chalmers. And another miss by Memphis. The Heat have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Allen with it. Guarded now by Tayshawn Prince. It's Bosch with the drive. And there's the rejection. Allen dishes to Bosch. Back to Allen. The Heat need to get a shot off. And here's Chalmers from the arc. Grizzlies with the rebound. Randolph's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Bayless. This is the Gasol. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, you figure a guy with the size of Gasol is just being sent out there to be physical. And he will be physical, make no mistake about it, but he's a skilled player as well. He's got court vision, patience as a passer. He can score. He'll find cutting teammates. He's a beautiful player to watch offensively. As beautiful a player as he is to watch with that finesse and those skills, he does still throw his weight around, and at the size he is, that just saps the energy away from anybody that is foolish enough to get in his way. I mean, he is a big man. Wade kicks to LeBron. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, watch out now! Oh, oh, oh. He's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, what mm. a play. Yeah, that was spectacular. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Bayless the pass to Randolph. Puts the lead pass in front of him. The shot's good from Gasol. You gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. Wade with it. Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for the Heat. Fifty-five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Randolph against LeBron. And it's Randolph penetrating. It's stolen by Allen. Pushing it up. Makes the alley-oop pass. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. He drops the first one, and that brings them to within 10. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Ed Davis is checked in for Gasol. John Luer comes in for Zach Randolph. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Tayshawn Prince. And Roten subbed in for Tony Allen. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Cole dishes to Miller. Mattier outside. Lewis outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Cole. Puts it up. And it's Miami with another. Doesn't look like they're going to take it easy on them down the stretch. It certainly doesn't look like it. I mean, they're still aggressively attacking the basket and putting up points. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Bayless kicks to Lewis. Over Lewis. And Lure gets it to go. Now the defense just couldn't get a hand in his face. Couldn't challenge the shot. Yeah, made his height advantage count that time. Fires it up. Can't connect. And so it's Miami winning this one. They came, they saw, they got. 45. Point out the bounce. Uh huh. Show me the bounce. Yeah. Point out the bounce. Yeah. Timbo the king. Yeah. Young Ho the king. Yeah, just point out the bounce. Yeah, 